Welcome to Evil Hog. <laughs> Hello guys. So if you're gonna tell from the intro to this video, this video is gonna be about this guy. This is a three axis skull. This specific one is the Twisty Skull Kit 2.1. I don't believe this kit is available anymore, but there are others that are very similar or work basically the same. This is not going to be a 100% how to assemble this kit, but more as a general overview about how it works. Just to give you an idea, it's, I thought it was pretty cool, so I figured I'd make this video. This specific kit, I was actually assembling it with two other friends. Um, it was our first time for the three of us, so I figured why not show this and how it works. Um, first we'll take a look at the brain. Um, it's pretty gross, so if you're faint of heart, you may want to look away. Uh -huh, just kidding. So, obviously you cannot see what's under here. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to disassemble this. And then I'll come back and show you in pieces how it works. Okay, so this is as far as I'm going to disassemble this, but I will go over some of the parts. These are, I'm going to call these the major components, but before I get started, I'll do a sort of a caveat that this is the first skull kit that I've ever assembled. So some of this may be generalizations but I'm gonna assume that other kits are very similar in design. Obviously you have the skull cap. I'm just gonna put that aside. You have the main skull area. And I'll go into some details about these holes in a bit. You have the jaw. And I'll go into detail on this as well. This is the main mechanism that controls everything. It uses four servos. Basically, this is how you get the three axis terminology. Um, this is actually a clear plastic. Very often you'll see these on the other videos that the cover here was removed. This one actually got stuck, so it would not come off this little paper covering. But it's actually pretty good for filming because it shows you where the holes are. This is the front for this specific kit. And you can usually tell the difference based on the hole positioning. So you can see these three holes here are lined up this way. There's three like this. So that way you know that you're facing this plate up in the right way and that this is the front and it's facing in the right direction. This motor controls the rotation. So as you can see down here, it's actually connected to the servo through this little pillar and this pillar is slightly flexible. So you can see. Then from here, yeah, this is where I actually have marked it wrong as the top. So just be cognizant of that. That's why I mentioned the positioning of the holes that makes the difference. So this servo here, so let me actually, so this is the front. So I'm just gonna rotate it this way. So now we know that this is the front here. Over here we have the servo that controls the jaw. So here you can see the positioning of the servo. And it's actually held down by little angle brackets and screws. These angle brackets that came with the kit actually are tapped and you mount them with the screws that came in the kit. You have two additional. One is for the nod, one is for the tilt. As you can see, they're connected here by these arms. One thing that I did notice in this kit, these rods here are very long, 
and you're meant to cut these but I find I still cut these a little bit but I find that if I added some washers here just a bit actually push this down a little bit so I really didn't have to cut them and I got a bit of better movement out of it these little angles here are meant to hold the, the assembly onto the skull so that way as you're moving the skull is not bouncing around this threaded rod is meant to attach it to whatever you're going to attach this to this one I had it attached to a base just because it's on the table and it's just really for assembly this is probably going to go mounted on something but I'm not sure what the ultimate place for this is going to be so that's the gist of it that's basically how it works you have a servo that controls the rotation two servos that controls the tilt and the knot and a servo that controls the jaw so I'm just giving you a little bit of a 360 degree angle view so, and I'll focus it again from the top here so you can see now on these you don't really need all four of the screws and you're probably gonna run out of screws if you use all four if you notice all of these servos are really held on by two so you don't really need all the screws for this to work properly so that's really it for the assembly of this this kit actually over here it only comes with the one nut I actually felt that if I locked it in with another nut I got better movement because it kept this from becoming too tight so you would get better rotation from here so again it's not what it says the washers is not what it says and the extra nut is not what it says but I found those are pretty good improvements to keep this rotating very loosely without the nut becoming loose and this washers here help push this down a little bit to give you more distance for these movements without having to cut these little rods too much this one is very long you will definitely have to cut this one the way that I cut this I used these type of pliers and obviously these are for bigger screws but I used the smallest one I just put it in across and then I just shear it I had to hold it pretty tight to get it to shear properly but since this here is plastic it's pretty easy to get it on there so next I'm gonna go over to the skull